come this way. Come on, Adam. Listen, listen. It's no big deal, but if you're in his eye line, we'd prefer you to be on that side. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. It's not a big deal. I know. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Don't see the sun if you're just standing there. Well, th this went on. The discussion went on longer than that. It, it, it went on again as they were leaving the uh, arena at the end of that frame. So just from a snooker point of view, the, the allegation is Jamie's in and Anthony's eye line. He seems to be in the kitten three times. It's, it's, it's happened. And it wasn't just a friendly, could you not do that? I mean, it probably started to kick off. Yeah, you know, and Anthony McGill is well behind, you know, so... Um... If it if it's happened a few times in the match before, he should have told. Um, yeah. Here, look, he's sort of saying to him, but McGill is actually on the right side. You know, uh, he's playing the yellow down the left side. So obviously, it's been going on a bit during the match. But I'm sure Jamie Clark's not doing it on purpose. Yeah. His first time at the Crucible is a very tight situation with the two tables, and uh, obviously. They've told him there that, you know, you need to go back into your seat so you can't get in the eye line. But obviously it's affected Jamie Clark more than it has McGill because he, he only won one frame after that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why we sit at 8-7 at the moment. Have a look at this tweet at the mid-session. And funny enough, Jamie uh, tweeted Jimmy when we were talking about the Welsh whirlwind in the mid-session of his last game. He said, if you want to dance, let's dance. All getting a bit rocky. I think a little bit of immaturity from there, and I don't mean that as an insult no. I think when you're a young lad like that. But... Whether it's happened before, there was talk of qualifying, maybe the Joe Perry game, he had said to Jamie, you're in my eye line as well. Yeah. Um, is Anthony McGill right to physically uh, uh, approach it the way he, he did? No, well, maybe he should have just spoke to Jan, perhaps maybe he should have spoke to Jan previous frames because it, it obviously has happened before, you know. But uh, Jamie, Jamie Clark, uh, that tweet in the interval, for me, it just shows that he's completely lost focus. Yeah. You know, that was probably uh, something he shouldn't have done. He looked back, if he loses this match, he looked back yeah. and he realised he shouldn't have tweeted that. Definitely affected the, the game. Listen, it's a gentleman's sport, apparently, but of course there is a history here at the Crucible. There's not you. You're, this is one of the few things I can't level at you, actually. <laughs> but, you know, we've had various things. Ronnie, back in the 90s, of course, he, uh, he, he assaulted a press officer. Can't remember his name. Not sure what happened to him. I'm not sure where he works in. It's not good anymore. Um, Higgins, you, you looked after Higgins. Maybe if it wasn't for you, there'd be a lot more we'd be talking about. Um, there was the, the one that sticks out for me is Quinton Han and Andy Hicks. They were yes. playing in the first round. It was nine each. They started arguing. And then uh, Quinton Han said, let's finish this game off in the car park. And uh, it ended up that they were going to have a boxing match. Andy Hicks said, I, I'm not doing that. Mark King stepped in. <laughs> And Obviously. they had a fight with Quint and Anne, <laughs> but I think that was in the early 90s. I think anything went then. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see it. Neil Falls against Jimmy White. We'll get it in pay-per-view. <laughs> Neil's too big for me. <laughs>